I'm Sana Krasikov, the author of The Patriots, and uh, I live in, New in the New York area and recently returned back to the United States after four years in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm Viv Groskop. I'm a writer, a comedian, and a huge Russophile, so this was a great novel for me to read because I love everything about Russia and the former Soviet Union. Tell us how the novel came about. We were vacationing um, in Cape Cod in Massachusetts with very close friends of the family who we'd known for years. And I'd known the husband, Timothy, for many years, and I'd always assumed he was a, a Russian, a Soviet immigrant like me, like my parents. And um, I learned, in fact, that his parents were both Americans. His mother had grown up in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and um, seeing this desolated capitalism all around her, and um, I guess see, also being part of an era that's not unlike our own um, socially, you know. She gets on a steamer ship and goes to Moscow. The, her, her, the woman's name was Pauline, Pauline Rose. And in my version of the tale, um, you know, she falls for one of these Soviet engineers who were also sent to the United States to buy up all of this factory machinery that the Soviet Union used to industrialize. It, it then became this three-generational novel where I send three consecutive generations of Americans to um, Russia. That is amazing. I had no idea reading it that it was based on true stories, composite true stories, but I'm not surprised because it has this incredible cinematic quality. It feels very real. Yeah. Who are the writers that you love, either from your childhood growing up mm -hmm. or when you first started to get interested in writing fiction and who you read now? Who do you really love to read? Oh, I just, I, I read so many different kinds of writers. Um, I, I mean, Tolstoy, obviously, has a, a big influence. Just love the the shift of perspectives, kind of, um, in Edith Wharton. I love Richard Yates. Mm -hmm. um, from the Russians, I, re I really like um, Igrikova and Vasily Grossman. I think, like, for this book, I, I wanted to um, not, not, write it in that kind of narrow modernist way that we're encouraged to write short stories, you know, where you're seeing everything from from at an, from one perspective through an arm kind of emotional arm's length, kind of the one way mirror of observation. I like really wanted to embrace some the omniscience of like the great masters of the nineteenth century, which is also really coming back in postmodern writing. Well, yeah, it feels as if there are a lot of influences in this novel from classic fiction, uh, but also from modern journalism as well. And I feel as if you're trying to get across um, a picture of what we should understand about Russia now. And it's kind of amazing what's happened in the last six months, that suddenly it's really timely. You know, for the first time we're seeing that um, the day-to-day -day experience of um, the thing we're going through isn't... Um, isn't daily repression or 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 f daily fear, but cynicism, like mass cynicism, that because that's some that's that's a very familiar experience for Russians because information for so long has been so um, unreliable, right? I do think that the Soviet and post-Soviet experience has lessons for right. us now, and those lessons come out, you know, covertly in this book. I, I wanted to play with like cognitive dissonance and duality in the book because um, so much of the Russian mindset and mentality that um, that I'm familiar with has to do with um, with cognitive dissonance, right? I mean, mm, thinking two things at the yeah, same time yeah. that don't actually compute. Right, and I think I was I was having I, I I met a friend of a friend in London actually um, a couple of days ago. And she was talking about, you know, Russian officials who, on one hand, are masterminding the um, the takeover of Ukraine, and on the other hand, they're writing these dissident lyrics for rock bands. And like to them, they can kind of do it all. They're they're above consistency. If people could take one message away from the novel, what would you like them to take away from it? Maybe never be sh too sure of any position you, you take because you will inevitably end up on the other side of it. Thank you, Sana Krasikov. Thank you.